Patty Patty melts and a honey apple radish slaw salad alongside. So let's gonna start with the slaw salad here. Really simple, fun, kind of tangy, spicy dressing. We're gonna start with a little bit of sour cream at the bottom of a big salad bowl to make your slaw salad in. A little bit of brown mustard in there, some honey, our nice tangy sour cream, a little bit of lemon juice. Squirt that down on in there. Okay, now I've got some regular right from the sack. You bet it, you get in the uh, produce department already shredded up slaw salad. It's a combination of just red cabbage and white, or of course you can buy a little red cabbage, a little white cabbage, shred it up yourself, either or. A little green apple and some nice spicy radishes and some parsley. Get all that dressing all the way through your slaw salad. And there you go, you got a nice tangy switch up a new kind of slaw salad. Oh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good and crisp and yummy? <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Not to be outdone by the patty melt gonna go alongside it though. I've got some nice lean ground turkey breast, about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a third. That's the average weight of one package. 99% fat free, so we're gonna add some stuff to it to keep it moist while it cooks up. We're gonna add a couple of spoonfuls of sweet pickle relish or dill pickle relish, whatever you have in the fridge. Nice and tangy again. A Little mild onion flavor from some chopped scallions and lots of nice fresh dill. Salt and pepper in there too. Then we're gonna give it a mix. And you don't wanna mix it any more than you have to because the meat's already so lean, you know? And the more you mix it, the tighter the meat'll be. Just wanna get everything distributed. Once it's all distributed, then I put it back together into a big mound so I can score it with the side of my hand so that I know the burgers will come out roughly the same size. Just score it like that. Then you make your patties. Get them into a skillet with a little bit of EVOO in the bottom of it. And you're gonna cook them all the way through, of course, because it's poultry. So you're gonna cook them about six minutes on each side or until the juices run completely clear and they feel firm but not dried out. Oh, they smell great, but you're not done then because we're making a melt, a patty melt that you can actually feel pretty good about because this is 99% fat-free, nice, lean, high-protein ground turkey breast that we're starting with. Here's our last one here. I'm gonna get washed up real quick, then I'll meet you right back here to show you what to do with the burgers once they get all cooked up. A little squirt of soap there. There we go. Ready for action. Now, you're gonna take some nice chewy whole wheat or whole grain bread, butter it on one side. See, just like that. Then flip the buttered sides out. You following me? And then you take some nice Havarti cheese, get it sliced at your deli, Put a slice of Havarti on each side, or two. <laughs> and then you take your patty, put it in the middle. Oops, yeah, just like that. Invert the top, put the buttered sides out and put it on a hot griddle pan or into a big skillet or back into the skillet you made the burgers with. Then, a few minutes later, they look like these guys back here. Then you're gonna take them down here and I'll show you how they look when you cut them. Ooh, that looks so good, does it not? Corner to corner. Put your slaw salad alongside, and I would recommend putting out a nice pile of spicy brown mustard alongside to dip your patty melt in. 